problems. I'd also like to acknowledge a critical clarification regarding the new health order. To the residents and loved ones caring for someone in a long-term living facility, I truly recognize it's been a long, hard year. Today, we are announcing changes to allow loved ones to be reunited safely in these facilities across the state. And on another matter, I want to set the record straight. These health orders have never prevented someone from accompanying a loved one into a hospital if they are a caregiver or needed to help make decisions on behalf of the loved one going, being admitted to the hospital if that one, loved one is unable to do so for themselves. But unfortunately, there has been much confusion over this, and my office has heard too many reports of people that are being left without access to a caregiver. So I want to be crystal clear today. As of today, each patient and each resident is allowed one caregiver or one visitor with them at a time unless there are compelling reasons to limit access. Naturally, we want to do everything in our power to protect the safety of both the patient as well as the health care workers. By allowing a loved one to accompany you into a critical health care setting, especially during a vulnerable time in one's life, it's just simply the right thing to do. As Dr. Harris makes his way up to the microphone, let me again thank the people of Alabama for your understanding, for your extraordinary patience, and for your continued support as we make real progress during this very hectic and unpredictable year. Dr. Harris.